catch, Riona. Great to see you. Now, I know you have been super busy since you've been crowned. I want you to tell some people about the highlights that you've had so far this year. Oh, it's been such a whirlwind. If you can imagine, I'm originally from the country of the Philippines. So moving to New York, to the hustle and bustle, the high energy was a huge transition for me. And I've had the pleasure of traveling to Indonesia and also around the States. And I have a few travels coming up. But the most fulfilling part is really working with the different organizations, learning about the work that they do, and also lending my voice where I can to make a difference. The other day I was watching a video of you on YouTube when you were welcome home to the Philippines after you were crowned. It was like a super superheroes welcome talk about that experience I can't even describe it guys like you know seeing support online is one thing um, but actually seeing people in the numbers in front of you was just it took my breath away and I think for my whole homecoming week I was crying every single day just because it was so emotional for me seeing that I could bring such pride and joy to my countrymen and it really does make what we title holders do all worth it I have to ask about the dress. My wife said, you got to ask about the dress, because when we saw Miss Universe, I said, that's one of the coolest dresses I have ever seen. Um, in particular, let's talk about the lava walk. Yes. Just let it fly. <laughs> So uh, my walk was named the Lava Walk. I wasn't the one who named it. It was actually my mentor who named it that. But it was in tribute to my mother's hometown in the Philippines called Albay. And it's known for a perfect cone-shaped volcano called Mount Mayon. So me and my designer actually played off that with the gown itself. It was digitally printed. And then they used Swarovski crystals all over it to give that kind of, it was like it was on fire. It yeah. certainly looked like it. Did you guys love the dress? <laughs> <laughs> One more question for you. Now this year, or this week, I should say, you're adding two new sisters to your trio. One tonight, one Thursday night. Uh, advice for the girls backstage. One of them will obviously be one of those sisters. What would you say to them? You know what? To every single woman that came out on stage tonight, what an amazing experience that you've had the opportunity to have to work with fellow women who are empowered, who are accomplished, and you have sisters for life. For the new sister that I'm going to be calling sometimes housemate, but she'll come visit in New York. Um, I'm so excited to welcome her to the family, but I know that every single girl here tonight is welcome back into the family to come and visit whenever, and they have sisters for life in every single state of America. Well, you're doing a phenomenal job as Miss Universe. Can we have a big round of applause for our current Miss Universe 2018? Catriona Gray, thank you so much. Now, if you want to learn more about Catriona and all of the hottest Miss Universe news, be sure to follow at Miss Universe on all social media channels.